Thank you and welcome once again to Sibulive.com All Talk. We are going to unbox this computer add-on or computer parts. It is what they call as the hard desk selector switch or hard desk power switcher. It has different name but the purpose of this is to control the power that goes into the hard drives so that you can only you can boot the specific drive you want to this is the hardest power selector switch uh, it is four way so it can control four hard drives so we'll open it this is our first time opening this one so we haven't checked what's inside we ordered this on Shopee for about 460 pesos. Shipping is free. It's from China. So, I am excited to open this. And so, let's start. Later, we will, after unboxing, we will try to install it on the computer. On the, the same computer we have we featured months ago uh, and to see if it really works so it, the same computer we bought on, online and we bought another device that will put on the, on, on the same computer so let's open it Well, the packaging is good. It is well padded with with how do you call this one? The, the thing that you play with. The bubble wrap. According to my wife, it's a bubble wrap. So yeah, so that's a box but no description. <laughs> Just a plain cardboard box. And it has a QR code, but I don't know what it means. We haven't checked it. So here it is. It's just a small, small size component that can be installed at the back of the computer. So what is included in the box? Let's check. And the power cables so this is the one you will connect to the hard drive and there are four of them of course because this four it's a four way four hard drive four hard desk selector switch so it included a zip tie and the screw for the mounting so you may ask what this what this device for so for example uh, you have four hard desk four hard desk with operating systems each so Let's say one hard desk has Windows 10, the other Ubuntu, and the other is Akintosh, and the other is Windows 7. So you will use this one to control which hard desk to boot up. Select the device button which assigns a hard desk. So, but you have to do it while the computer is off. So, so you, so let's say your hard desk Windows 10 is on the on the bottom one. So you have just to press it. Then you can release it. So the other one is, is for say Ubuntu. You have just to press it. Then release it if you don't want to to use that particular hard desk 
So you may ask, why why would why would I bother use this kind of device when I can just use the boot up menu of the BIOS of the motherboard? So uh, you are right, but for convenience, for ease of use, and there's no need for you to press the whatever shortcut it is in the BIOS motherboard for the boot up menu. So yeah, it is. This is more efficient. And another aspect of this is that you can extend the life of the hard disk because if all of the hard drives are running, all of the hard disks are running, then you are not using it. It's actually spinning. It will shorten the the life, the lifespan. So uh, consequently, if you are not powering on the drives that are not used, you extend its life and at the same time, you save on power. And another reason to have this kind of device is that if you have a secret hard drive, let's say you have a hard drive for some personal matters and you don't want people or relatives or using your computer to access it, then you can set it up. You can just post push the particular hard drive intended for general use so yeah this is it okay uh, we'll try to install it let's see if it is easy so here it is so this is the the connector it is self-locking so I think this long I was expecting it to be short so I guess it's just right so we will just connect all for demo purposes and it will be installed like this in the slot Okay, we are having difficulties now how to install it, but yeah, it fits. So we'll use the we'll use the included screw to secure this mounting. But let's check first if it is. Let's check it again. You know, so there's no connection, it's all plastic, so <laughs> it doesn't use the PCI slot. It's just to secure it. Okay, let's install. Yeah. Okay. Seems I could not make it fit. Yeah, this is how it looks at the back. So, so this device should be used while the computer is off. So, as I have mentioned, as I've said a while ago, choose only the the button that corresponds to a hard drive that has the particular OS you selected. So this one and this one. You can allow to power on all hard drives as long as your power supply supports it. So yeah, it's quite a quite a nifty device I don't know what nifty means <laughs> but this is you have to yeah and I don't know what is the assigned drives and it's 
I'm get, I'm really perspiring because we can turn on the electric one because it will mess up with our audio. Okay, so basically you connect all the hard drives here. If you have four hard drives, you, you connect the connecting power. Then you the from the power supply you connect it here. So you just connect it here and yeah that's it. So in new When starting to use it, just power on at the back. It's as simple as that. So, I hope uh, I have given you idea what this device for. So, thank you for watching and have a nice day.